it's Dragonfly here, and so today I'm going to be talking about Ambrose sexuality. So I, as I mentioned in my last video, I am ambrosexual, but um, as an umbrella term, I go, um, for, I explain myself as bi. Um, so, yeah. So today I'm going to be explaining a lot about um, am what ambrosexual means and um, some misconceptions about it. So stay tuned. What ambrosexual means? Okay. So I never found a really good way to explain ambrosexuality until recently. Um, when I was explaining it to my friend and he said, so it's just gender fluid, but the sexuality, which is the perfect way to explain it. So, um, ambrosexual means that not on a daily basis, but maybe for a week I consider, I can consider myself bisexual or lesbian, and maybe a week and a half later, I consider myself, a uh, polysexual, I think. I think polysexual is a thing. Or, um, pansexual. And so it is the not ever changing, but change, it is the change of attraction to whatever sex. Um, I'm more likely to be interested in f people born of the female sex. Um, but that's just a personal thing. Um, sometimes I am interested in men or those who identify as male, but it is not as, um, common for me. So, yeah, that is what ambrosexual means as a whole. Um, some other people might have different ways of explaining it. And if you ever meet, uh, meet someone who is ambrosexual, ask them. Ask how they, um, like, what they identify or what they believe ambrosexual means. Um, and, yeah, so that's what it means. And so, yeah. <laughs> What are the misconceptions of ambrosexual? So, like most um, LGBTQ um, subparts and stuff, it is very common to have some weird, bad misconceptions made about the sexuality and stuff like that. So... Ambrosexual, um, the most common question I get when I explain it is, don't you ever have a hard tr uh, time in relationships and does it ever get hard for you or your partner? And so currently I'm not in a relationship, um, but I believe that loyalty is one of the best qualities in a relationship. Loyalty and trust and being honest. Um... I believe those three are the best qualities in a relationship. And so, yes, when I, um, there was, in my last relationship, there were times where I would be interested in maybe guys or people born of the male sex but are non-binary because my partner was born of the female sex but was non-binary. So, a lot of people will believe that it makes it harder for me to stay attracted to my partner, which is very much not the case. Um, and ambrosexual does not mean that if you are in a relationship, you have a hard time staying with that partner that was of that is of a sex that you are not interested in. 
Um, so I wouldn't call if you have a hard time sticking to one partner because of their sexuality, I wouldn't call that ambrosexual. Um, but I do not have a hard time dating people because of being ambro. I Um, it's really hard to explain, but I am, when I am in a relationship, I believe that my partner is still attractive in my opinion, um, no matter what the sex they are or what gender they are, I will still consider them very, um, I will still consider them attractive to my own personal opinion, um, which is hard to understand, um, unless I were to go into a full description of what that means, um, which I could save that for a video later if you guys want. Um, another misconception is that ambrosexual means that you, let's say you start off with being bisexual and then you decide, hey, I'm actually gay. Um, and so you hate the sexuality that you were previous. Um, I've seen this on plenty of forums, which is very much not true. Um, there have been times where I've fluctuated between each sexuality, uh, sexuality, like, let's say I was feeling very pansexual, but then I switched to being just lesbian for a while, and, but then I switched back to being pan. So it is not that ambrosexuals do hate this, uh, sexuality that they were previous. It's just that they decided that they weren't attracted to whatever sex was in that category, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. So, those are the miscon- those are the most commonly seen miscon- uh, misconceptions when talking about ambrosexuality. What are the origins of ambrosexual? So, the origin actually means it was originally the sexuality for those attracted to people who were non-binary. Um, but as most sexualities have branched in more com in more recent years, um, it has changed over time and modernized. So I do not know the current name for the sexuality which people are attracted to only non-binary people. But, so now, ambrosexual means everything that I just explained in this video. So, yeah. Um, so it was originally, I believe, made in the 2000s. Um as the sexuality for those who were interested in um, non-binary people. But now it is for those with a fluctuating feeling, with fluctuating sexualities. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to listen about my sexuality and happy Pride Month, everyone. I appreciate it so much. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, just ask down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And if you guys want, I will make another video in full detail about Amber's sexuality. Anyways, I love you all so much. Yeah. Bye.